For better or for worse, many hobbies, traits, and activities are typically described as being either feminine or masculine. The danger is this, if a man focuses solely on the hyper-masculine parts of his personality, then he will be more of an ape than a gentleman. It is important to instead embrace some traits that society typically views as feminine. In this video, I will share with you six hobbies that are typically practiced more by women than men. I will explain how they are beneficial to you and how you might like to get started with each one. So let's begin with number one. Women generally have a much more complicated and detailed personal care routine than men. From skincare to hair care to makeup, women are aware that they have the power to improve their appearance with the right products and routines. Women are the original looks maxes, gentlemen. In fact, the average woman spends 30 more minutes a day on her appearance than the average man. So I encourage you to consider what you could do with an extra 30 minutes a day spent on your appearance. Perhaps you would develop a skincare routine, take care of some manscaping, or simply put more thought into your outfit. A gentleman knows there is a lot more to getting ready and looking your best than the three S's. It's ironic that cooking is still viewed as somewhat effeminate when most of the world's top chefs are men. But domestic cooking is still viewed as a womanly activity, evoking images of a 1950s housewife lovingly tending to her oven. But here's the truth, cooking is a highly attractive skill for a man to have. Being unable to cook good food for yourself is a huge sign of immaturity and a major turn off. Personally, I don't cook too much for myself because I have a meal prep service that I use, but I do have several dishes in my arsenal which I can cook if I want to. Few things are going to impress a woman more than if you invite her to your place and cook her a great meal from scratch. I suggest learning a few Italian dishes with different sauces, learning how to cook some meat and fish, and prepare some delicious sides. Follow recipes online or just buy a cookbook. As long as you choose an uncomplicated recipe, it's as simple as reading and following instructions, which really should appeal to the logical side of a man's brain. Sewing is normally thought of as a woman's hobby, but if you're a man who cares about looking good, it might be the best hobby you can have. Having your clothes fit you properly is the most important thing when it comes to style. But the truth is that most clothes off the rack aren't made for your body type. Sure, you can take them to a tailor, but have you thought about doing your own alterations? If you're a young man, this is a good way to save money, and it will help you understand what good fit is and how your clothes are constructed. I used to tailor all of my own clothes, and it only took a $100 sewing machine, watching a few YouTube videos before I was able to do it. In fact, I became quite addicted to the hobby and even started making my own pocket squares. So if your clothes need tailoring, consider learning the skill of sewing. The next quote unquote feminine hobby that every man should try is dancing. Obviously there are just as many male dancers in the world as there are female dancers because it's done in pairs. But I know there's still a lot of hesitation from some straight guys to try this out. Here's the truth, there are few more gentlemanly pastimes than dancing. Actually, when you take dancing lessons, you're going to find out the whole thing is very chivalrous and traditional. What's more, if you're a single man, dancing is a great way to meet women. Salsa, tango, swing, and many more popular styles are all social dances, where the idea is that you switch partners throughout the night. So you don't need a partner if you want to learn to dance, Try it for yourself and the ladies are going to love it. It's a well-known fact that many young men's apartments consist of little more than a mattress on the floor, a deck chair and a huge TV. But a gentleman pays careful attention to the interior design of his home. It's not only women who should put thought and care into how their space looks. Consider what type of aesthetic you want to create in your home. Is it mid-century modern, bohemian? Art Deco. How can you express your personality with decor and artwork? It's not only a sign of self-respect when you take care of your place, but it also makes it a much more attractive environment for any female guests. And I will admit, I was quite late to this party myself. I was not always on board with interior design because I didn't have a lot of money and I just prioritized buying clothes and going out. But as some of you know, I recently moved into my very first bachelor pad and I'm in the process of furnishing it and decorating it from scratch. I'm finding that creating a beautiful space that 
reflects my personality and feels homely is a huge boost to my mood. Next week, I will be sharing my list of items that I think many men are overlooking but would be great additions to your home. So watch out for that video. And I will be giving a full tour of my new apartment when it's complete. Now we come to the last one on the list, and this isn't so much of a hobby, but a lifestyle and a mental attitude. One thing I think we could learn from women as gentlemen is to be more empathetic. It's our nature as men to want to put our point of view across, convince others, get them on our side. Sometimes we forget to take the time to understand how the other person truly feels. This can be incredibly counterproductive. Conversation, whether for pleasure or persuasion, is a two-way street, and we will never connect with the other person properly if we do not empathize with them and show understanding. You could even look at this in a Machiavellian way if you wanted to. Need to persuade someone? Listen to their point of view so you know which areas to focus on. Be in tune to their needs so you can show that you have the solution. Whether you truly want the best for someone or you're just trying to get them on your side, demonstrating empathy is vital. Gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed my suggestions for these different pastimes, all of which I think would have a very positive impact on your life. I hope you appreciate that I don't personally view these hobbies as feminine, it's more just the stereotypes of society that led me to describe them as so. I would like to hear from you in the comments if any of these hobbies are already a part of your life, or if you have any other feminine pastimes that you think other men could benefit from. Remember, the most important thing is that you have some kind of hobbies and interests that color your life. Many people spend all of their free time just watching Netflix or getting drunk with their friends. But a gentleman has a greater lust for life than that, and he enthusiastically explores his passions. If you are looking to meet more like-minded gentlemen and you are near the city of Chicago, please remember to register your interest for my upcoming event. In the description, you will find a link to enter your email address so I can see how many people to expect and plan accordingly. I'm very excited to take this community into the real world and meet you all. So please remember to register using the link below and I'll see you in the next video.